Let's cover a composition book, add dividers and pockets. Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. We are transforming composition books today. Stay tuned. Y'all, welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for spending this time with me today. Thank you for being here. I know that you have options when it comes to how you spend your time. And I am so appreciative that you're choosing to be here with me today. Y'all, today we're going to take one of those plain, cheapo composition books and we're going to turn it into something absolutely gorgeous. We are going to cover it, we're going to add dividers, and we're going to add pockets. We've got a lot to do. So I'm going to flip to my overhead camera because y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, y'all, so here's how our composition book is going to look before we do anything to it. And here's how it will look after. We have this beautiful paper infused with lace and backed with some blue fencing. Y'all, it is absolutely gorgeous, front and back. I don't want to take up too much of your time today, so let's hop right into it. I am going to be using some more digital papers that I've created, and here is that blue set. So I'll just walk you through these very quickly. They will be available on my website. I'm using them today to cover composition books, but these papers can be used for anything. You don't have to use them for composition books. As a matter of fact, you're going to see me using them in other ways as well. So we have the blue, and we have this page, we have this page, and then we have this page. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and just set these over here, and they will be eight and a half by 11. And then we have this beautiful blush pink and brown, and I'm using these today to cover the composition book. And you can see that we have this beautiful lace here. We have this wonderful pattern. Then we have the pink fence with that lace running through yet again. And we have another full page with the lace running down the side. So you have options with these papers. Y'all, I think that they are just so Gorgeous. Even though I love blue, I think that this one might just be my favorite. So we have these beautiful yellow flowers and I played off of the green here to add this green rustic fencing and added some more of that lace going across the front, lace going across the bottom, or you can say lace going across the top, however you want to use it. And then I have some more of that fencing with the lace running through it. Love all of these. It is a nine paper set. It is available on my website. I will have it linked in the description box below. So y'all, what I've done is I've applied the adhesive to my papers that I'll be using today using my Xyron. If you have the Xyron sticker maker that will apply adhesive on pieces up to nine inches wide, you can go ahead and cut this piece or these pieces down to nine inches because we're going to be trimming some away anyway, so you can go ahead and cut those, but I did use my Xyron because I wanted to go ahead and get that full coverage, so I am peeling away the protective backer, and for those of you who don't know, a Xyron is basically a sticker maker, and it applies adhesive to a whole bunch of different things, paper, thin pieces of wood, felt, so you can get adhesive on a whole bunch. So I'm just going to take this and we're going to put it down because I want to make sure that I cover this. And you can see how quickly that went on. If you don't have a Xyron, all you have to do is take your tape and cover the book. So now I'm just going to trim away the excess paper. Some of you might have a way that you enjoy doing this. Go ahead and keep using your way. I'm not saying that my way is the only way. This is just the way that I like to do it. So I am just going to go ahead and trim this. 
remove this piece. And you can see how quickly that transforms. So on the back side, I've decided that I want to go with this look for the back. You can match them the way that I did on the blue, or you can do as I'm doing here. Different front as well as a different back. And all I'm doing is placing this against the banding of the black here. Place that down. Now I'll open this and I will not be covering this inside back page because it has a lot of useful information on it. Sometimes we forget measurements or how to convert from metric to inches or inches to metric. And this little cheat sheet here at the back comes in handy. So I am just going to remove this. And if you just wanted a cute notebook for work, you can stop right here and consider this absolutely adorable and stinking cute, but we're not going to stop. I am going to open this and we're going to cover this page because I don't know about you, but I'm not in school anymore. But if you were making this for, let's say a student, you can definitely leave this for them. So we're going to cover it with this piece. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim away some of this because I know what it is I want to keep. So I trimmed away some of this because I didn't need all of it. I wanted enough so that I could have this lace showing on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and just peel off that backer. And I am going to take this piece and when I put it down, I'm not going to put it all the way against the edge because sometimes the Zyron might have some sticky on it and I don't want it to stick to that paper. So I moved it there. Now I'm just going to take my finger blade and we're just going to trim away our excess. So now when you open it, you're going to have this beautiful page on the inside. So I am just going to flip through a few pages, open this, I'm going to go ahead and just peel away the tape backer from another one of my pieces. And then we're going to take this piece and when I put it down, I will go fairly close to the spine. Let's get that stuck. Get that stuck, and now I'll open it, take my finger blade, and just go in and trim away that excess. And y'all, it's really not hard. We just have to be a little bit careful when we are going in and cutting this out because the paper is very thin. Not the paper, the decorative paper, but the paper in the composition book. So you want to be careful when you're doing that. And then we'll just go in and Cut this piece out. And 
and just cut around. And so that is how easy it is to add a divider page. Now, if you wanted to add a pocket, I'm going to show you a very easy way to add a pocket. So you can take one of your papers, doesn't really matter which one, but I am going to take this one and we're just going to overlay it right here. So I am just going to take this, I could measure, but I'm not. I'm just going to take this and make a mark where I know I need to cut. And I'll place it back in my trimmer and we'll cut. Now we can take this and we can put it right here and have a pocket. First, I'm just going to go ahead and round that just a little bit so it will fit better there. Now I'm going to take my glue, add some glue to three sides, two shorts and one long. And now we can take this and we can put it down right there. You can do this throughout your book. You can add as many of these type pages as you want and then you can go back and add your pockets if you want. Let's see if that'll fit in there. So now that I have my pockets, I can tuck in a note, I can tuck in some important papers if I need to carry those with me, but you can go through this book and follow that technique for adding pages to your book. I would not add glue to the back of any of my papers inside this book because it's very thin and you don't want that warping or that folding that you'll get from wet paper. I would always use tape to put it on the back of my decorative paper to lay it down to create this divider page or I would use a Xyron sticker maker. I would not use glue under any circumstances to put this down. That's just me. If you want to use your glue, go ahead, use the glue that you're using. I'm just telling you, based on my experience, I get a better result when I use tape on projects like this. So that is the process for covering these inside pages. You can cover front and back if you want. I decided just to cover the front. I'll probably go back and cover a few more pages, but I wanted to walk you through the process of how to take a plain composition book and turn it into something beautiful inside and out. Now I can go back to the front here and put something right here, and I just might. I don't know yet. I like the simplicity of it. Sometimes the paper is just so beautiful, I don't want to cover it with anything, and this might be one of those times. So I am going to bring that first one back in so that you can see how beautiful these are. If you would like to have these papers along with that third paper that I showed you, my website will be linked in the description box below. I appreciate everyone who goes out and supports my website because when you support my website, you're helping to support me being able to do this and me being able to go out and source new ideas and new products for us to try on the channel. So I really do appreciate it. Y'all, as always, my friends, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.